Ever wondered how different cultures honor their deceased? From sky burials to fantasy coffins, the world is full of unique farewell rituals. Around the globe, communities have developed fascinating ways to say their final goodbyes. In the towering mountains of Tibet, the dead are offered to the skies in what's known as a sky burial. Meanwhile, in Ghana, vibrant and elaborate fantasy coffins reflect the life and passions of the departed. Over in South Korea, mourning is transformed into beauty with colorful death beads. But what do these practices tell us about the cultures they come from? Imagine a funeral where the deceased becomes one with the sky. In the high, remote plateaus of Tibet, the traditional sky burial sees bodies laid out on mountaintops, silently offered to circling vultures. This profound act of giving back to nature stems from Buddhist teachings, where the body, once devoid of spirit, serves a final purpose by sustaining other living beings. It reflects a deep acceptance of life's impermanence and the ever-turning wheel of existence. How does this compare to the way we typically think about funerals? In Ghana, coffins aren't just containers for the dead, they're art. Dive into the world of fantasy coffins where final resting places transform into vibrant masterpieces. Picture a coffin shaped like a sleek race car, a majestic lion, or even a giant cocoa pod. These are not mere boxes but symbols, each intricately designed to reflect the life and passions of the departed. By embracing such elaborate creations, Ghanaians celebrate life's journey and achievements rather than solely mourning the loss. Could you imagine attending a funeral with such a colorful expression of life? From beads to hanging coffins, Asia offers some of the most unique farewells. In South Korea, a poignant yet picturesque tradition transforms grief into beauty. When a loved one passes, their cremated ashes are not simply scattered or stored. Instead, they are artistically fashioned into vibrant, colorful beads. These death beads, varying in hues from deep blues to soft pinks, serve not just as a symbol of remembrance, but as a part of everyday life, often displayed gracefully in homes. This practice encapsulates a philosophy where death is seen as a continuation a presence still vibrant within the living spaces. Moving from Korea to the cliffs of the Philippines and China, we find the enigmatic hanging coffins. Suspended high above the ground, these coffins are a sight to behold, nestled on craggy precipices. It is believed that placing the dead in such lofty positions brings them closer to the divine, connecting spirits to the heavens in an eternal embrace. And while these practices might seem distant, they share a common thread with others around the world, such as the turning of the bones in Madagascar and even the lively presence of funeral strippers in Taiwan. Each in its own way challenges and expands our understanding of cultural norms surrounding death. Do these practices change your perception of what a funeral can be? All these traditions, as diverse as they are, reflect deep human values and beliefs. As we journey through the myriad ways cultures honor their departed, each tradition opens a window into the values that shape human societies. From the soaring peaks of Tibet to the vibrant shores of Ghana, these rites compel us to reflect on our own views of life, death, and everything that comes in between. They remind us of the universal concepts of respect, memory, and a profound interconnectedness with the cycles of nature. How do these practices influence our own perceptions of death and mourning? Do they perhaps shift our focus from loss to celebration, from grief to remembrance? These questions are not merely rhetorical, but are invitations to delve deeper into our own cultural and personal understandings of life's final passage. As we ponder these traditions, let's consider what they reveal about the collective human spirit. How do we, across different geographies and beliefs, confront the same inevitable journey? What do these very traditions teach us about the universal experience of death and the celebration of life? Keep exploring until next time, my jazzy leaners. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.